126 Actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6. Going dark. Start clear! As much fun as this was, I just want to point out that you should probably not open glow sticks because of the chemicals inside and the little bits of glass. Because when you do crack a glow stick, it has actually glass cracking inside of the plastic. So keeping it closed is by far and away the safest option. Still, they look very, very, very cool when you crack them normally. So please use them how you're supposed to use them and avoid opening them. Please enjoy. Hi, my little scientists. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, the way I made this smiley face glow like that is, well, from these highlighters here. I'm pretty sure we've all used these before in class. Uh, you take a highlighter, you take a black light, which is this right here, and then you have this really, really awesome glow in the dark drawing. And then if you pan over here, you can see a flower. It's a little white flower and it's sitting in some green liquid. And I'm pretty sure we've done this science experiment in our class too. All right, so after a while, you can see the stem here. The stem is gonna drink all that water, all that nice yummy water through there. It's gonna go all the way up the stem, up to the petals, and it's gonna turn them whatever colors in here. So the stem uh, should turn green. So the, I'm sorry, the petals should turn green after a little bit. Now, what if we could combine those two things? So what happens if we could take all our glowing stuff here, which we have all our highlighters right over here, and we take our flowers, which we have over here, and we combine them to make glow-in-the-dark flowers. Would that be pretty cool? Because I personally think that would be really awesome. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to test to see if we can make glow-in-the-dark flowers. We have all these highlighters right over here. We're going to test all the different colors, and we also have glow sticks here. We're going to do that way. We're going to try it two different ways, okay? And we're going to see which way produces a really the coolest effect. I'm pretty sure they're both going to be cool, but I'm really excited to see both of them. I really hope you guys are too. So let's get started. All right, so we are going to start off our first experiment, which is going to be our highlighters. So I have my trusty pliers here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each highlighter, I'm going to uncap this white part here, and then I'm going to take out the ink sponge that's in it, which kind of lets us draw, and I'm going to put it inside of each of these little uh, containers right here, these little tubes, okay? Oh, these are these pliers. Oh, wait, we're going to be able to do this. Oh, oh, okay, we got a budging. I knew it. See, if you keep trying, you'll eventually get it. Or at least, you know, you're going to get better at things. There you go, my little motivational speech. And now I'm going to take this out of here. So you see, so this is the ink sponge. This is what's inside of all of these that uh, let us draw with them. Okay, so you can see these inside of markers too. Okay, and let's see. So I have gloves on here, obviously, to make sure that my hands stay free of any highlighter, highlighter material. And it looks like it's wrapped inside of a piece of plastic here to make sure that even if this is removed, it doesn't uh, get anything really messy. So I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to push. Now, okay, now that's not gonna work. I get it all over my hands. What I'm just gonna do. A few moments later. Now that we got our little uh, ink sponge out of our highlighters, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to squeeze as much of the liquid, the ink inside of these little tubes here, and then I'm just gonna leave the rest in there to, uh, be, and we're gonna fill up the rest with water. So here we go. I'm gonna try to squeeze out there. So you see there. I'm squeezing all this out here. This liquid should glow underneath a black light here. That with the rest of these, and then when I do all that, we're gonna come right back, okay? Ready, three, two, one. Okay, we are back, and I've put all of the ink from our highlighters inside of our test tubes, which means we're ready for our next step, which is to add the water in for our flowers to be placed inside of. So let's go ahead and get some water. Okay, so I went ahead and let our uh, highlighter ink mixture go off to the side. Uh, in the meantime, I was gonna start up our, our uh, glow stick, our glow stick uh, mixture, but then I realized that the mixture inside was oil-based, which means that plants have a very, very, very hard time drinking it. And you can kind of see that right here. You can see the glowing part inside there. So it looks like, although it would be really, really cool, we can't make any glowing flowers with the glow sticks, but we're still gonna see what those highlighter ones look like. But then I thought about, I have all of these glow sticks, and what am I gonna do with them? Yeah, well, then my siblings and I, we found a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool way to, to use our glow sticks here. 
I have a bit of a mess to clean up. <laughs> So, our flowers have been soaking for about eight hours now, and as you can see, it's nighttime. So let's check out our flowers and see if they are glowing yet. Oh, <clears throat> well, I mean, there's, I mean, there's a little bit of a, a color change, but it's not really glowing. Oh wait, the light, the lights on. Okay, you know what? How about this? Let's turn the lights off, shine a black light on it, and then let's see if this works. All right, let's try it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's working there. Let's go ahead and get those lights back on. Well, I'd say that this has been a very successful and awesome science experiment. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope to see you next week for another awesome teacher aid in science video. High five.